stops, feel free to stand up and take all the pictures you want. Okay, bud. Down here in our back lot is where we do most of our outdoor filming. Now, down there we have hundreds of facades designed to look like New York streets, a European village, Mexican town, even the Old West. On our back lot, we can recreate just about any location in the world or go back to any particular period of time. Future, that's what we're doing right now. We're filming Back to the Future 2 and Back to the Future 3 with Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd. Later on, we'll take you through our back lot. We're going to show you our old Chicago set that was used in The Sting back in 1973 with Robert Redford and Paul Newman. We'll be on the tour today. Back to the driver's side of the tram. Seems like we're being abducted by a Cylon battleship. What's going to happen inside here is anybody who's going to want to have your cameras out. We might need these pictures for evidence a little bit later on. Just remain seated. are real, propelled by gas jets located behind the windows. Notice the uh, black scorch marks in the wood, just black spray paint, and the house is made of a non-combustible material. We look behind the house and we go past it, and you'll see what we mean by facade. Facade is just a French word for false front. All the interior scenes will be shot inside one of our sound stages. You're going to be going inside one of our stages in just a few minutes. Well, down here at the bottom of the hill, just ahead of us, we have our... As you can see, not all special effects look quite so special when you see them up close. This is an exact replica of the clay miniature used in Universal's Flash Gordon serial. And it's fueled by ordinary sparklers, which we have lots of left over from yesterday. But this effect thrilled the nation of Saturday matinee movie audiences. This is what it looked like on the screen, or I'm sorry, this is what it looked like on the stage when they were filming it. But that's what it looked like on the screen when they showed it in the movie theaters about 50 years ago. The 19 actually our volunteer Brent who's playing cards, and these cards are magnetized. What I want you to do is take this card in this hand, this card in this hand, and put your arms out sideways like this, both hands. Come on down. Thank you. Now I'm gonna step off the set. I don't want you to watch Brent here. Watch him on the screen and let go of the cards. Brent, just drop them. Yeah, buddy. Our stage can only hold 50 feet of it. The greatest effect came when a Japanese submarine blasted the Ferris wheel. Oh, go ahead and give a wave. Now, now with the other hand. You want to wave to your family, Emily? There you go. Now they can get a picture of you. Did you have fun? The you and me contact both of those were MGM films. Kind of gives you a little hint about what you're doing. There is nowhere to fall. Nowhere to fall. Right. All right, gentlemen, we've got a problem. You better pick up some... And on my side, as we go into the sound stage, you can be able to see an actual filming set. Do keep your cameras ready as we go inside the sound stage. Uh, print some stuff. although it does appear to be very deep, is only actually several feet deep. The greenery that you do see around the lake is real, however. The few things perfectly sunny and dry, 50-50 chance of rain. 
keep those hampers aimed at the top of the hill on the driver's side up, and they experience flash floods in this portion of the back lot. You will want to have your cameras, however, right now because this is going to be a great opportunity to get a good sea level picture without even getting one toe wet. And once again, I am giving. with Lana Turner and was seen as France in the very first miniseries, Rich Man, Poor Man. This is also where Universal's all new movie is about to go into production in the next several weeks. They have also the dolly tracks on the driver's side, and the dolly tracks are where the camera rides to give a very smooth appearance to the film. Up ahead on the driver's side, you can see arc lights, and arc lights are used to create lightning for motion pictures. Those personal belongings, everybody. That feels like an earthquake starting. Trim is currently home to the McCormick family for the new MCA television series, Lassie. That does star Dee Wallace Stone, her real-life husband, Christopher Stone, Will Nipper, and Wendy Cox, and of course, Lassie is back. Rock Hudson was a contract player for Universal in the early days of the studio. On the driver's side and get a glimpse of the most recognizable set still standing here in Hollywood. It is the Psycho House, where Norman did live with his mother. But be up in Wisconsin vacationing. The location scenes were done and Bass Lake Center above is through this ice tunnel ahead. I just ask one thing from everybody. Please be very, very quiet as we travel through the tunnel. The slightest little noise could set off something like, Oh, those rise the holes. We're past push those buttons. You gotta find the right hole, those heads all the way into the red hat. Down now with me, folks. Here we go. Six, five, four, that's our game. Through there up here. Two and one. How you doing, Jeffrey? Do that again. 
pretty sure I was not imagining that. Everybody up on the pedestal, go ahead, that's fine. Hands behind your back, chin up. Oh, very good. Don't move, hold very still. We have some coordinates that have been punched into our computer, that's where we're going to beam them to. Roll cameras on and energize. How about that? Yes! Here, what is your point? Is the Venus of the Klingons, the Klingon captain, right there. That's it. Klingon captain, that's it. That means you're beaming down. This will be an in camera special effect, meaning the beaming process actually will take place inside the equipment upstairs. You can smile, it's okay. It's painless. Thank you, you can't smile. I'll mention a minute ago that uh, there's no editing uh, time after we finish. Let's try this one. This is the mama creature. Let's have, uh, before we get into the scene, Captain, you're the star, so we can't have you get hurt in this scene. So here's your snow ball, perfect match on the size. What is your... Hi. What's your question? Do you have one? Do I like being on the shelf? I love it.
saw a moment ago, our stunt doubles for Crockett and Tubbs have managed to ruffle a few feathers here, flipping the lamp, and in this next scene, they move in to collect some hard, hard evidence, but our sleaze prize party. All right, guys, stand by. Cameras are ready, and action!
Because you're sitting exactly where we would position our next scene. All right, guys, let's rehearse the rescue scene. Jenny, down here. What's the matter? A little waterlogged, are you? Here, let me give you a hand. There, you're all set. All right, Tuck, take it where you kick Pat. That's it, bye. That's it. All right, fellas, stand by. Come on, bring him back down. Now, as soon as we're set up, as I just promised, Kenny's going to take that hit and spin into one of the most spectacular. And action!
is imprisoned once more, and by my sword, there he shall stay. And so it was, swords and sorcery. Thank you.